Hello and welcome on my screen. My name is Michael Anger. In this video I would like to show you how you can make the sublingual area, the bar, much faster, clean and smooth. So often it is uh, after reply the sublingual bar, uh, it looks very nice from the upper side. But if we hide and block out the, uh, the block out and refractory and we turn around, then we can see this. This is not smooth. This is not nice. This is, uh, yeah, not nice. And now we go with the edit wax tool and we put a little wax on the lower side of the, of this bar like that. And also in the upper area. So we don't have to be afraid that this will disturb the fitting of our bar. Just a moment. There is a fragment I'd like to delete. So, and then we uh, set, say, show the model. After showing the model and hide it again, this is done very nice. So now you have got a very nice gap over here. We can smoothen that a little bit. So nothing will disturb the fitting of this bar. Also in the upper area, a little bit smoothening. So then we want to have the model again. Now you can be sure that your bar is smooth on in all directions. Then for uh, the transition elements, so where the plastic, the composite has to end, we go back to the wizard mode, then we go on next and next and next. We don't want to have clasps in this step, so we don't need clone walks. We don't want to have the finish line exocut supports. Yeah, I want to skip that. And now we have got the drawer support bars. And this support bars can also be used for the, for the transition elements. So I make two points, so I have one line. And over here I also make two points to have a line. And to have the st uh, stabilization elements on my ring retentions, I also make uh, two points. Then I go to edit curve. And now I say I want to edit this curve. And I set points, three more. So now I can correct these points. And after I do that, they will come out of the surface of the uh, wax, so on the top. And then I give them a nice shape. Like, like that. So, then I select the next line. Also here making three more points. And also here moving it it is nice and maybe a little bit symmetric to the other side. So let's see what we have got. Yeah, roundabout. That. Also this line should be in contact with the rings and also here I set new points. And then I move them a little bit so they get contact to the wax. So, see from the side. Okay, now this is a nice line. In the next step, all the stability, uh, the support bars are there. And now I click once here to make this away because I want different settings for them. So the diameter for the transition bars can be 1.2, 1. Oh, this is too much. 
like that so I know and now I can move them till the line is nice as I like okay a uh, little bit more this direction okay then I say apply and these lines will be finished for the stabilization line on the retentions I want to have a little bit thicker so I click here and say 1.4 so once click again okay this is fine also this I can move if, I ne if it is needed and I say apply now I switch to the edit wax tool and I place a little bit of wax over over here on this side on the side where the composite will not touch uh, in the new version I'm using you have to uh, switch the smooth level a little bit down because it is very very powerful and then I can apply a little bit of wax here to get a nice transition very small clicks and then smoothen it a little bit so this gives me a nice gap here and a smooth transition to the bar area and smoothen again so I like this way much more than the uh, supported way from Exocut you can decide which is the better way I, I hope you liked that video and would like to see you again in our next so this was Michael bye bye Thank you.